Hello, welcome to this again. So Android, right? Pretty neat operating system, mainly used on phones and tablets. It's also owned by Google. But what if I think having my primary operating system being owned by Google is very cool and want my computer's operating system to also be owned by Google and I don't want to install Chrome OS? Well, a uh, fun fact, you can install Android on computers. You see, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have two versions, one from around 2009, which should hopefully work on this computer, and and one from around 2016. I'm going to try the one from 2016 first, just because it's more modern, but it might be pretty slow, so. I never actually burned that disc. I burned the wrong thing, so I got to go over here and burn the... All right, so I have the 2016 version here on a disc, so I'm going to see if it works. And yeah, I'm using a CD because I just didn't feel like using a USB. It's probably going to be absurdly slow, but... Uh, hey, all right. Um, I want to install it. Oh, we're... Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, here. Um, format it as FAT32, sure. This better not take an absolute eon. I don't have enough time for this. Sure. Sh sure. Sure. Installer is going to create a disk image to save the user data. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Android x86 is, is installed successfully. All right, I'll... Uh, sure, run it. Oh, we have a higher resolution now. Android. It rebooted anyways. Cool. Oh, okay, no. I don't know how to... I don't want to be running off the... Yeah, uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I took the CD out and rebooted, so let's see if that actually boots off the hard drive now. This is not a bootable disk. Cool. And that's exactly why I have this CD with the 2000 and whatever, 9 version or so. I forgot, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's see if this does anything. Okay, so far it looks the exact same. I'll try to install again. If I have to, I could just, you know, use the live thing that it had an option for, so. There are many dots down there. Kind of worrying. All right, we're four rows in and nothing's happened. I don't think it's going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna take the 2016 disc again and try the live environment on that and see if that does anything, so. All right, we're now on the 2016 disc. Uh, could you tell? All right, without installation, let's see if that does anything. Oh, we have soft reset failed. Uh, decompressing Linux, okay. All right, we're in a different resolution now. Android, and it rebooted, I think. Cool. Yeah, it rebooted, cool. Um. All right, I have the old disk in now. I'm gonna try the live environment on that. Okay, without installation. Unknown boot option, no support for the CPU vendor. Soft reset failed, detecting Android. <sighs> oh yeah, this is an AMD chip. That might be a problem. It's a 64-bit AMD chip. Hmm. Do I have anything that isn't AMD? Like, um... Okay, I have this Pentium 4. I have two I have two Pentium 4 laptops that output really stupid resolutions and a Celeron desktop. I'll probably have to go with the Celeron desktop just because it doesn't output the stupid resolutions. All right, you're just going to print more dots to the screen so you can you can go die. Also, this power adapter that I use for the laptop over there um gets so incredibly hot that I swear if I hold it like this for too long, it will burn me. Like, that was uncomfortable. I don't have any, like, heat showing things, but trust me, it is genuinely a fire risk whenever I use that laptop. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the 2009 disc here. This computer is way older than 2009, but we'll see if it works. <laughs> this might be the slowest thing ever. Alright, we're back here. Installation. Unidentified video mode number 314. Um, bleh. um, I. Nine? Okay, I don't know what it's doing, but I think it's doing good things. Installation is not implemented yet. Press OK to run live version. Okay. I, why would you have it as an option then? Android. Can't access job control turned off. Uh,. Okay, it just booted me to this. Oh, wait. We actually have a boot screen, finally. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're in, I guess. Uh, battery is getting low, less than 15% remaining. 
That's the mouse, by the way. Um, I can already tell this frame rate is great. Oh, okay. Okay, it was just that overlay, I guess. Okay. We have Android. Android. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Okay, we have apps and stuff. Okay, what version of Android is this based on and can I run anything on it? Settings. About phone. This is... There's no way this is Android version 1.5. 1.5 cupcake. I'm not sure if I can find any games or anything that can run on Android 1.5 cupcake. Um... Nor can I find a way out of this menu. The keyboard isn't doing anything. The arrows are. The escape key isn't. Oh, okay, the home button on the keyboard works. There's a Google search, but I don't think that does anything. Especially because I'm definitely not connected to the internet. Music, there's no... Yeah, there's... there's um, yeah, there's no audio here, so... Um, I do actually want to do things with this. So, like... I should probably find... I should probably try using the 2016 version. So, yeah, I'm gonna move to that version. Is there a correct way of... Of, um... Shutting this down. I doubt it. All right, let's see if this works. I highly doubt it will, but it'd be really funny if it did. Okay, I'm gonna try installation again. Fat32. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I'm gonna, sure, try running it. Android. This is not a bootable disc. Well, this disc also won't be very bootable after this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Tubers, Dev, Galaxy, S6, Normal, Roblox, Player, Corbin, Nickel, Ghost Rider, I Don't Even Know, David's Technology, Death, System32, A Lost Potato, Teletales, Restart, Lunar, D, Wowcan, Scarlet, It's Just J, Tomas, Serenity Scubbis, Mr. Muffin, Skyblocker, and I am Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.